Every day, you take two of your senses for granted. These are your sense of touch and a sense known as proprioception, which tells you where your body parts are in space. You need these senses for everything, from feeling the ground beneath your feet to feeling your shoelaces as you tie them. But what if you were suddenly cut off from these senses? Cut off from experiencing touching moments like in this image here. Well, that's exactly what happens if you have a severe spinal cord injury. You can picture the spinal cord like a bridge with two-way traffic that carries messages from brain to body and body to brain. But if the spinal cord is damaged, it's like the middle of the bridge is being destroyed, so the traffic can't cross in either direction, leaving patients unable to move or feel. Now, scientists have tried to work out ways to repair the bridge, but it's not really working. So instead, we can try to skip the bridge altogether. Now, this idea has been able to work, as some scientists have been able to use electronic devices known as brain-machine interfaces, which get brain signals and teleport them past the destroyed bridge to control the muscles again. But despite regaining some movement, these patients still struggle just to feed themselves. This is because when we move, we feel through our skin and into our muscles, and we adjust our movements based on those feelings. So we need the traffic flow from body to brain to move normally. Our aim is to help develop a brain-machine interface that can get these sensory signals from the body and use them to stimulate the brain in a way that can trick it into perceiving real sensations. But first, we need to work out what the brain's electrical activity looks like when we feel different sensations. So we recorded thousands of patterns of electrical brain activity. And what we found is that each sensory experience produces its own unique pattern in the brain. And these patterns can tell the brain where sensations come from on the body and how it tells sensations apart. These patterns can tell the brain things like, is it a pen? or a straw in my hand? And was it the left hand or the right hand that felt something? Our goal is to restore feeling by replicating these patterns in the brain to artificially recreate real sensations. So whenever you're sitting comfortably in a chair, I want you to relish your sensory abilities. Think of the challenges for those that have lost these senses and just imagine all the touching experiences that a new type of brain-machine interface could open to them. Thank you.